in this interesting experiment you can actually find out which candle will burn the longest if we put it under a closed container and they are all of different heights so take three candles light them and put it under a closed jar a thick plastic jar or a glass jar and do it under supervision because we are playing with fire you will see that the longest one extinguishes the first the middle one is next to go and the smallest one keeps on going now candle is a hydrocarbon when it burns it consumes oxygen and produces carbon dioxide and water vapor when the candle uses up oxygen inside the jar it extinguishes so why is it that the smallest keeps burning it must have to do something with the height and the oxygen available at various heights let's do this again and this time we will pour water inside the dish now when the carbon dioxide is produced it absorbs most of the heat and even though it is denser it stays up because it absorbs the heat and not the other gases hot gases stay at the top and the cold ones stay at the bottom and hence it pushes all the oxygen down so the longer the candle it gets start of the oxygen the earliest and as you see here because the oxygen is pushed down by hot carbon dioxide the oxygen is available only to the smallest and hence it lights the longest and now you see all the water has been sucked inside the jar the hot carbon dioxide loses its heat at the top to the jar and hence it creates a low pressure inside which sucks in the water as you can see the reason of hot carbon dioxide pushing the oxygen down is the reason why we are advised in case of fire to crawl and go towards the exit because oxygen is always down if we stay down and crawl we will be able to breathe so you can enjoy this wonderful experiment and see why the shortest candle lights the longest so after all being tall is always not that good and being short is not that bad either if you are a candle burning inside a glass or a plastic jar so enjoy this experiment now that you have enjoyed the experiment think about a couple of questions and send us your comments what would be the percentage of carbon dioxide in the jar after the candles have all been burnt given that the fresh air has 20% oxygen and almost minimal carbon dioxide and what burns in a candle is it solid wax or liquid wax or gas wax and to get an answer to this watch our next experiment jumping flame